Hello guys, welcome back to Rahmatullah's Kitchen for another juicy recipe guys. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. You are more than welcome to the farm. Anyways guys, in today's video we are making seafood boil. I've been waiting to share this recipe for so long with you guys. As you can see all my ingredients are ready. I'm just gonna take you through. As you can hear my voice, I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys. I'm telling you, my mouth is watering already. Anyways, I have my crab which I've already cleaned. Next to that, I have one steak of tuna which I found in my freezer. And I have my mussels. Next to that, I have my squid. And my prawns my corn my potatoes eggs as you can see i'm showing you my squid which i've already cleaned anyways and i'm showing you one large onion all purple seasoning which i'm gonna be needing for the sauce and chicken stock and here i have my homemade marinade if you are interested in the homemade marinade, contact Rahmatullah's Kitchen. I make them for business. And I have my butter, my garlic paste, and ginger garlic. Here I have my pot with four cups of water or, or four glasses of water. That's how we call it. Don't mind me. And next I'm going to season the water. You don't want to boil your seafood in the plain water, right? You want to season it. I'm going to leave the full measurement down in the description box below. So... There's nothing to worry about. You're going to have the full recipe. And here, as you can see, I bring the water to a boil. And now I'm going to add in the corn and the potatoes. Just because they take a bit longer to cook. So that's why I'm adding them earlier or before and I decided to peel my potatoes because some people will not peel their own but for me I like think easy for me and my family that's why I peel them I don't want that hassle whilst I'm eating to start peeling my onions so sorry to start peeling my potatoes I don't know what's wrong with me too, but anyways I know you can relate right Okay, we're just going to leave that to cook. And now I'm going to check if the potatoes and corn are fully cooked. So don't judge me, guys. I wash my hands. So, yeah, I think the potatoes are cooked. And the corn, they need a little bit more. So I'm just going to leave them in there. Okay, next to that, I'm going to add in my crab, which take about five minutes to cook. So basically, the seafood takes just a few minutes to cook. You don't want to overcook them. I'm just going to add in all the seafood in there and cook them for five minutes. I'm leaving the corn in there just because they are not fully cooked yet so I'm just gonna leave it in there and they will suck all that juiciness from the seafood the seasoning the garlic you know
Okay, as you can see, after five minutes, they're fully cooked, so I'm just gonna take them out. Especially with the squid, you don't want to overcook it. Just remember that, because if you overcook it, it will get tougher, and you don't want that. And now I'm going to add in my egg, eggs, <laughs> sorry I don't know what's wrong with me today but anyways we'll get there. My eggs are already cooked so I decided to peel four and leave four just for presentation because that's how people do things. So I'll just leave the four without peeling them and my prawns are going in just for a few minutes. You don't want to overcook your prawns either. So. Just leaving it for a few minutes and it will be cooked and ready. My mussels are already cooked, so I'm just gonna leave it like that just to, for, to flavor it basically. I don't need to cook them. And now everything is cooked, I'm just gonna take them out corn and eggs. And now we are going to make the yummy, 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 juicy sauce, guys. As you can see, I'm adding now my onions. Saute that for about five minutes. And now I'm adding in my homemade marinade mix up that together next to that garlic paste And ginger paste as well we're gonna add in Okay, next I'm going to add in my chicken stock. And all-purpose seasoning. Cayenne pepper. Yes, guys, you need pepper. You don't want your sauce to... I don't know what's the word to say, but you want pepper in there for seafood boil. Trust me, guys, you don't want that. Like, you want you you, you, you put something in your mouth and you want to drop. You don't want that. You want some form of spiciness in there. So you need that adding cayenne pepper or any kind of pepper, any kind of something chili you need that in there trust me guys if not that no there is no seafood sauce without chili just reminding you anyways next i'm gonna add in my black pepper which i have not mentioned earlier but you're gonna have the the full recipe down in the description box below nothing to worry about And now I'm adding the 
the seafood stock that I use early on to make the, the seafood and the corn potatoes. That's what I'm adding to the sauce because you don't want to waste that goodness, right? You want to add in that juiciness, tasty into the sauce, right? That's what I'm doing now. You need that. And if you still have more than three it away, you can use it for your next cook. Trust me, you will enjoy that. You can use it for your rice, for any kind of, for your pasta, because it's stock, basically. You have boiled your seafood in there, so all that juiciness taste is in, inside the stock. So don't throw it away, just keep it, and you use it for your next cooking. And here we are done with our sauce, and now I'm going to drizzle it on top of the seafood boil. As you can see, this is yummy already, right, guys? Look at that tastes really yummy and looks yummy this is the end product guys tell me this is not juicy tell me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe share to your friends and family support your girl don't come here and watch and go subscribe is free free of charge you're welcome to the family guys don't forget to turn on your notification bell so whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching and watch out for my next video. Bye.